The film that I did with Emily around Naloxone came out at the end of May last year and I'll just show it for you now for the people that haven't seen it. I've now with my friends on my scooter. I didn't know that he started using it again. Hi, I'm back. Is dinner ready? He was still breathing, so he didn't need CPR. I knew from the carer's training that I'd have to make sure he could keep breathing, so I put him in the recovery position. He made sure I knew where he kept his naloxone. It doesn't really matter about hitting in the exact point. I injected 0.4 mil in his thigh muscle. Hey, wake up! He didn't come around. I remembered not to panic and that I should phone the ambulance. Ambulance, please. My bear has OD'd on heroin. He's breathing but unconscious. I've given him one shot of naloxone. My address? It's 12 long. They stayed on the line. I put them on speakerphone. After a couple of minutes, it was time to give the second dose. Bear, come on, breathe! He's awake. With naloxone available, no one needs to die of an overdose. I'm just glad she'd had the training. So why did we make this film? Well, it was Emily's idea in a large part. She had been learning about the recovery position at school. She came home, she was demonstrating the recovery position to me and she was demonstrating it on her teddy bear. And as you can see from the film, you know, she knows it really well. And we got into a conversation about the fact that I teach people the recovery position at work. I, when I'm delivering training, she is aware of the training work I do. And naloxone was being talked about a lot at home anyway because at the time I was working for HIT on the naloxone.org.uk site, which we did for the uh, Scottish Drugs Forum. As you can see from the script, the script looks uh, particularly messy. That's not the handwriting of my nine-year-old daughter, that's actually my handwriting. I'm not very good at writing, I'm much better with digital stuff. But we did an entire script for it, and a shooting script, and she was fully involved in all of this. And it, it was a really nice sort of father-daughter activity to do. It was during the school holidays, we had beautiful sunshine, you know, she was playing out a lot. But she also wanted to do some stuff with me, and liked the idea of having a project to do with the work I do. You don't, you don't need a high-tech studio. This is a photo of our shooting studio for the second part of this film that I'm doing today. And, you know, we've got a Flip HD hanging off a light fitting on a... hanging from the end of a tripod. So you can get a tripod for about £15, you can get a Flip HD for under £100. The editing software... There's free editing software out there. That you can use. You don't need to be paying out hundreds of pounds for Final Cut Pro. I wanted to interview Emily a bit more and find out what her thoughts were on doing the video. 
so I'll hand over to her now and you can see what she thinks about doing it all. Not because it is child's play, it's because it's really simple. I knew it would help with your work um, and I knew that people will be able to know more about like naloxone and naloxone administration. I know that if somebody overdoses on heroin and you have to um, inject 0.4ml of naloxone in his or her thigh muscle. What does the naloxone do? Um, it stops them from dying. Um, I hope to do more and maybe talk about different sorts of drugs. It was easier than I thought it was going to be, but again, it was still hard in places out when I had really long sentences and sort of like giggled in a few bits because it was really um, like you have to be serious but it's just really funny I've been out with friends on I've been out with friends on I've been out with friends on a scooter I didn't even know that he's that was wrong He's really frustrating. You can do it. <laughs> Stop some from dying. And putting something on YouTube means that others can share your work. There's an embed option for YouTube. So anybody can embed my video onto their site. There's also the ability to remix other people's videos that you can allow. So I've allowed my video to be remixed and the same as I allow this one to be remixed. That means that others can share the film, they can remix it, they can do things with it. There's somebody at the moment working on a Spanish script. I think a few things make a good YouTube video. One is having a good theme, and this was a good theme. You're talking about saving people's lives, that's a good theme. But another one is making it different. There are tons of YouTube videos out there to do with people overdosing. Some of them are excellent. Greg Scott, for instance, produces some wonderful videos to do with the lockdown. But they're all quite similar. They're all somebody who's clearly a drug user going over and somebody saving their life. So there's very little to differentiate them. What we decided to do, obviously, is use my daughter. And that gave it a difference. It made it, I think, uncomfortable for some people in the way of, this is wrong, this isn't right that a child should be doing this. But there is something very right about it. This is a child saving a loved one. The other thing is to edit it. We had about an hour and a half's worth of footage that got edited down to a couple of minutes video. Bear is now engaged in a treatment program. He's reduced his heroin use down, it gave him a fright, and he's moved, he's transitioned from injecting to smoking his heroin, and he's considering going into a methadone program with a view to at some point in the future possibly um, stopping his substance misuse, although he says he's, he's unsure about that stage at the moment. He needs to talk to a drugs worker a little bit more yet. 
you'd be glad to know that he's doing okay.